Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea and today we are going to do a video that I saw Jessica Braun do and it is my favorite purse lipsticks, lip glosses, products. They're mostly glosses. <laughs> so uh, this is all going to be stuff that typically lives in my purse. I am one of those people that ends up with like 30 lip products in their purse. It, it's just who I am. I end up, I have like a set number of things in there and then I put more and more and more and they just stay and it just is that way. So we have a lot to go over. So I'm just going to dive right in. A lot of what I'm going to be talking about today is more formula and not necessarily a shade because a lot of these I have a lot of shades of. So It'll just depend on like the time of year, what I'm feeling, that type of thing. So the first thing you're gonna find in my purse all the time is MAC lip liners. I have a ton of them. The shades are gonna differ for different times of year. I have a couple brighter shades that I will have in there during summertime. Some of the deeper shades are more for fall time, but this formula is a tried and true formula for me. It's something I go back to all the time. I enjoy it a lot. So. You're always going to find probably two or three MAC lip pencils in my purse. The top ones are probably Soar, Rosy Rim, Half Red, and I don't have it right here, but the other one is Chicory. And I think that they discontinued that shade, which makes me so, so sad. Do I have it right here? I do have it right here. This is chicory. Um, it's like a pumpkin-y orange color. It's so beautiful. It's really disappointing if they are discontinuing that shade. And that is their standard lip liner formula, not, they have like a pro long wear formula that's a twist up. These are specifically the wood pencils that I enjoy the most. So the other lip liner you will find in my purse is from Bite Beauty. These have been discontinued. I assume that they are bringing them back at some point. Bite Beauty is switching their line to be all vegan and cruelty free. And their lip liners were amazing. So I hope that they bring this formula back in a new and improved version. But I love their lip liners. They're super creamy. I don't wanna talk about them too much. There's some items in this video that are no longer available. So I always have a lip balm in my purse and right now it's Laneige lip balms. I have two of these, the pear and berry. They both have been living in my purse. Um, they had a set of these around Christmas time that had a bunch of different flavors in them and I got that. So I have one in my filming room, one in my bathroom when I'm getting ready for bed and then these live in my purse. So. I'm constantly putting this product on my lips and I highly recommend it. So next is a product I buy over and over and over again and it's the Sugar Honey Tinted Lip Treatment. I also love the rose shade but this is just a beautiful everyday color. It goes with so many different things. It has sunscreen in it and I feel like my lips get burnt pretty often. So if I'm being, if I'm out in the sun for long periods of time, I'm typically wearing one of these on purpose to prevent that from happening. But I wear this on a daily basis as well. I just love the shade specifically and the formula is great. The rose shade is my other favorite. I don't think I have one of those right now though. So the next thing that is super, super high on my list and is literally always in my purse is the Milk Kush Lip Balms. And I have two shades. The first shade is Nug, and it's like a nudie shade, very similar to the Fresh Sugar and Honey. These are minty though, so if you don't like mint, I would not recommend this formula for you. And then the other shade I have is Bubble, and that's why I don't really have the rose shade from the sugar ones right now, because I feel like Bubble replaces that for me. So next is a formula that I wear all the time and especially in the fall because in the winter because of the shades that I have. 
So it's the NARS Velvet Lip Glides, and this is what they look like. This is the shade I wear the most, and it's in the shade Bound. It's like a mauve purple cool tone shade. I love these so much. They're super glossy when you put them on, and then they kind of dry down to be like a matte velvety formula. They never dry down, down completely, but I just enjoy them so much. They feel really comfortable on the lips. And this other shade is in the shade Suck. So next is a brand that's a little bit newer to me. These are the only products that I have from this brand and I thoroughly enjoy them. And that is Persona Cosmetics. I bought these glosses for the 21 Days of Beauty and they are super comfortable and I love them so much and they've been living in my purse. Uh, I have the mauve shade that's in Shortcake and then the shade Peach. So I've been wearing Peach a bunch during the summer um, and then the mauve shade I'll wear more in the winter slash fall season. So love this formula. It's super comfortable. So this one is also newer to me, but I've been getting a ton of use out of it, and it's the Tower 28 gloss in the shade Fire. That's what it looks like. It's a little bit thicker of a formula, but it's super comfortable, and I love how sheer it is. So this lives in my purse as well. Obviously, not every single one of these is in my purse at the same time. I feel like I guess I should say that, but... A ton of these will live in my purse for like weeks or months at a time. So next is just a formula. <laughs> I have too many of these to go through, but it's the Buxom glosses. These are one of my favorite glosses and these are my favorite shades. This is Mai Tai, Peach Daiquiri, Celeste, Cream Sickle, and Champagne Pink, or excuse me, Pink Champagne. I probably get the most use out of these three in the summertime specifically. Um, I just love this formula. It's super minty and plumping and I just think they look so beautiful on the lips. So I wear these on a regular basis all the time, especially in the summertime. So next I have a couple of MAC lipsticks. MAC lipsticks are some of my favorite lipstick formulas. and. I just enjoy these so much. So we have Velvet Teddy, Brave, and Nikki's Nude from the Nicki Minaj collab. This was actually my wedding lipstick that I wore and I just love it so much. It's Nikki's Nude. I don't think it's available anymore though. Velvet Teddy though, I get so much use out of Velvet Teddy. This is one of my favorite lipsticks like ever. I wear it all the time. And then Brave is just like a nice mauve, mauve pink shade. Good for any time of year. Love it. So next is a gloss formula that has stolen my heart and it is the Dose of Colors glosses. This formula is so pigmented. You don't need a lip liner or a lipstick or anything underneath. It's one swipe and you're done. This shade is Messy Bun, I believe. Yes. Look how pigmented that is. And then the other shade that I have is Just My Type. They have so many shades in this formula and I definitely need to pick up more of them. I wanna pick up some of the nude shades. So I love these so much. This is like an everyday wear for me all the time. So next is a gloss that I have used the crap out of and it is probably going to be surprising. <laughs> it's the Kylie gloss, specifically in the shade Coco K. I've never been a liquid lipstick person, so I was super excited when Kylie came out with glosses, and I love this formula. I don't like the applicator, this stupid brush applicator, but I love the formula of these glosses. I do have two other shades, but this is my most used. You can see that the tube is like scraping at the sides of this. I've used this a ton. And the shade is right here. I just feel like this is a perfect pinky, mauve nude shade. So this is a go-to for me. So next is another gloss. 
and it's from Jouer and it is the Skinny Dip Lip Topper. I guess it's called the Lip Topper. I love the Jouer Lip Topper formula. They're so shiny and look how shiny that is. It's so amazing. They specifically made these to go on top of liquid lipsticks. Like that was the intention and uh, it wouldn't ruin the formula of the liquid lipsticks, but I just wear this as a gloss on top of anything I want to. And the formula is so nice. This is probably my most used shade, but I have, there's several shades of this and I have like four of them. So I love these glosses. I'm going to briefly run over these because they're not available anymore and it really breaks my heart. But just in general, YSL lip products. I don't know where my obsession came from these. I think it's from Miss Lola Lynn. She always talks about their products and so I bought them. <laughs> these um, Volupt Tint and Oil. These products are so amazing. It's like a sheer glossy, it's right there, formula. I have two of these. I'm obsessed with these. I wear these in the summertime all the time. I wish you, I wish they still made these. Like I don't understand why they don't make these anymore. Such a great formula. And then it's the same with these as well. This is the Vlupt Tint in Balm. So it's almost basically like this, but it's a balm instead. They do have a similar version. They have like a plump balm and then they have like type of balmy lipstick. So they're just sheer and glossy and gorgeous. It's like popsicle lips. I really wish that they didn't discontinue these. And then this is another product. I, I just realized these are discontinued too. I looked them up before I started filming this video and sorry to be mentioning things that are discontinued, but just in general, YSL lip products are fabulous. So even if it's not these, I highly recommend YSL lip products. So this is more like a gloss. It's the Volupt Liquid Color Balm. This was a really short lived product too. I don't understand, but it was just like a glossy balm. So there's that. This is a YSL lip product that is actually still available. <laughs> and it is the Rouge Volupt Shine. And I believe this is in the shade 44, Nude Villarreal. I don't know how you say that. This is a favorite. There's tons of shades of this. And these that I showed earlier, this one, it's basically the same thing, but these are all like nudie type shades, I believe. I think there's some reds and stuff maybe in there too, but I love this. It's super glossy and it's sheer. It's a little bit more pigmented than these are, but such a great formula, so comfortable on the lips. And I would like to pick up more of these. This packaging was limited edition packaging, but the regular packaging is just regular gold. It doesn't have these little hearts on it but I love this shade specifically. I want to say Young Wild and Polished. Nicole from Young Wild and Polished is the one that had me, made me pick this up. So it's super comfortable. Love it. All of these are super comfortable. That's kind of my jam. Like I live for more comfortable lip products. I'm not a huge liquid lipstick person. It's all going to be hydrating and they're not going to be something that's hard to touch up or there's different options for different people. But these are all, these are like my tippity top lip products that I wear all the time. Okay, I had to pop back on because I forgot a couple of things. I don't know how this happened. And these are the more affordable options too. So this product is actually kind of a dupe of these. So 
It's the L'Oreal Paris Color Reshine. And I have another shade somewhere, I think. I don't know where it is though. And then they have a plumping version in this. I enjoy that as well. Um, but these are just sheer and balmy. This is the shade Luminous Coral. And this is Polished Tango. This is more like a pinky shade. So I really enjoy this formula as well. And again, this is more like a dupe for these that are, um, that are no longer available. It's a good alternative. And then last but not least is the Physicians Formula Maru Maru Butter Lip Cream. And the shade I have is Soaking Up the Sun. This product is amazing. It's super pigmented and high shine. It's like an all-in-one. You don't need a lip liner, lipstick, or anything underneath. It's fabulous by itself. This is actually what I have on right now. Put a little, a little more on. I did put on a lip liner with this though. I just normally don't, but this shade is fabulous. I feel like it's a universally flattering shade and it's a great nude. I love a peachy nude, if you haven't noticed that from the shades I've shown you today. <laughs> and again, they're glossy. You have to be careful with this formula though. It is very liquidy almost when you apply it. If you see how glossy it is. If you aren't careful, you can very easily slip outside of your lip lines and you can also melt this if you leave it in your car. So just be careful with this formula. You can see how dirty my cap is. That's not for me doing anything in particular. I don't know why it's like that, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave in the comments down below your favorite lip products and tell me if it's something I should check out. Is it glossy? Is it matte? What kind of products are your favorite to wear? And if you're still here, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Hit that bell notification as well. It really helps me out. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Mike? <sighs> there you are. Hi. Hey. Chill. Stop. Huh? Yes. Hello, You're moving my background around. Will you close the door and get these pups out? Yeah. Okay. You're home early.